So as you can see from the video title that this is another Thailand haul video from me again. Well, just because recently I needed to go back there twice in two months. <laughs> so I just bought a lot of stuff back with me as usual. So let's just not talk too much and let's have a look on what I got. So first, I'm gonna start off with some products that I repurchased, so I'm not gonna explain too much about them. I will just go through the details very briefly. And this first one is Biotherm Life Plankton. This is my third bottle. I'm gonna repurchase again and again and again every time I go back to Thailand. This is the essence that you put on before moisturizers and it helps uh, healing redness. That's it. <laughs> and the second product is Centio Goat Milk Bath Cream Cream Bath Cream Bath Bath Cream Bath Cream Cream Bath Whatever Centio Goat Milk Cream Bath I got this from the shop called Beauty Buffet and this is my favourite one as well because it smells really milky and it just really moisturises your skin as well That's it <laughs> Another product from Beauty Buffet is this Genoa McRae lipstick. I got two colors here. I actually bought two colors before this and the one that I have on right now is the one that I bought before from this brand. These two are the color number one Bloody Mary and number two Snow White. I really like the formula of these lipsticks. They are really pigmented and the application is really nice as well. And most importantly, they are really, really cheap. This one is only about two or three hundred baht. The next product is this Color Diva Nail Polish Remover from Beauty Cottage. This is my swear by product. It cleans nail polish really well and it smells really nice. It smells just like coconut. This was in my blog post as well about like best favorite product in 2014. And I think this will be my favorite product forever because it just smells really nice and is not expensive at all. And the next product is also from Beauty Cottage and this is the loofah that you can use in the shower to exfoliate your skin. And the reason that I like about this particular one from Beauty Cottage is that the size of it, it just fits in my hand while other brands that you can just get from the supermarket, it's kind of huge. But this one is just perfectly fit and all the products, I mean all the loafers that they sell in their shop is just all in this size, so I really really like it. And the next product is this Smoothie Cream and this is like a scar cream that can be used for both your face and your body. It can be used on the acne scar as well as the bites from insects as well. And the next product is this stocking and body spray from a brand called S Smooth. And if you watch my previous Thailand haul video, you see that I just bought this for the first time then. And actually, I really liked it. It's basically, it is the foundation in a spray can that you can just spray all over your leg and it's not sticky at all and it's also waterproof so it's not gonna smudge or make your clothes dirty. Yeah, I like it, so I just bought two. <laughs> the next product is this Rice Care Baby Powder. This is not talcum powder, it's made from modified rice starch and I just realized that it's actually the same ingredient as in dry shampoo and actually it works as a dry shampoo so I really like this, it's much cheaper than dry shampoo as well and it lasts for ages so yeah, really like it Next product is this Gatsby powdered oil clear paper I really like this, it's just really useful I don't have to carry powder with me I can just use this to absorb shine and put powder on at the same time so it's really useful, it's really cheap as well. So next, this is L'Oreal Faux Slash Architect 4D Water... <laughs> so next, this is L'Oreal Faux Slash Architect 4D Waterproof... <laughs> so next, this is gonna be very mouthful product. It is L'Oreal Faux Slash Architect 4D Waterproof Mascara. This is my favorite drugstore mascara ever and I tried to find this in the UAE already but they only have the formula that is not waterproof and I don't think I can survive in that so I just need to get this from Thailand again yeah and another mascara that I also got is this Majolica Majolica Lash King 
And to be honest, I just like this one as much as the L'Oreal one but it just depends on the shop that I went that day. If they have this, I'll just get this. If they have L'Oreal one, I'll just get L'Oreal one. But on the day that I went, they have two anyway. So why not get both as I don't live there anymore. So next, this is Sleek Brow Kit and this is the eyebrow palette. Basically, this one has the wax products on this side and the powder products on this side. And this is just my favorite type of eyebrow product. I think it's just much much easier and faster to use than the pencil. And this is the, this one is in the color light. And I think this is just a perfect color for me. The next product is going to be the last product that I repurchased and this is Mia Care Acne Patch for Night. I got 5 here. Inside the box, there are 12 stickers that you can just put on your skin and let it absorb the liquid from under your skin overnight. And yeah, it just works well for me, that's why I just have to stock a lot of them. So from now on, it's gonna be the beauty products that I never tried before. And the first product is from L'Oreal and this is Matte Magic BB Essence with SPF 50 PA++++ and this one is in colour R2 Rose Vanilla. The bottle inside looks just like Nude Magic and I actually like that one a lot. But that one doesn't have the oil control power but this one is so I guess this is gonna be better for me. The next one is also from L'Oreal and this is Matte Magic All-in-One Powder with SPF 34PA++++ I actually have this powder before but I think that one is actually the wrong colour for me So I got this one in the colour G1 Vanilla Ivory in Refill Palette So I can just put this in the old palette that I have and I guess this is going to be a better match for me. I really like the formula, it controls oil really nicely. The next product is from Bouchure and this is Nude Sensation Blur Effect Foundation. The inside looks like that, it's a bit like mousse texture. I'm not actually sure if this is the right shade for me. This is the colour 44, Sunny Nude. But I try one shade lighter and I found that it's just it's just not my colour either, it's just too light. But when I compare to my face, now I'm just not sure, it looks much darker. Maybe if it's just too dark, I'll just use the contour cream, contour foundation or something like that. Next product is also from Bouchure and this is 123 Perfect CC Eye Cream. I actually have the 123 Perfect foundation before and I really really like it. Just it's just really really good foundation. So I think the concealer from the same line should be good as well. And um, yeah, I got this in the color 23 Golden Beige. I hope this is gonna be the right shade for me. I always have trouble choosing the right shade of foundation colors for myself. Next, this is Maybelline The Falsies Big Eyes Waterproof Mascara. I actually used the Falsies Mascara from Maybelline before and I really liked it. But I just never used this big eyes one. It's the one that has two ends of brushes. This is the big side and that is the smaller one for bottom eyelash. So yeah, it's gonna be very useful. You won't easily get clumps on the bottom eyelash anymore when you use this, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully. This next product is from Maybelline and this is Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. I actually love the Hyper Sharp Liner, the one that has gold lid but I think this one is just gonna be pretty, pretty much the same formula as that one but this one has the flat bristle so that means you can create thick liner as well as the really really sharp line as well so yeah so I just get one and just try it just to see if it's gonna be as good as the one that I really love or not next is this Lucas Purple Ointment and I think this is the universal ointment that you can just use as lip balm or just use over the dry flakes on your body or something like that. I just walked past this on the aisle in Ethan Boy and I just remember that I saw some positive reviews and the price is not that high anyway so I guess that I should just try it as the overnight lip balm. And the size of the package is actually quite big so I think it should last a long time. 
Another product is a lipstick from a Thai brand, I think, called Passion View. And this is in the moisture finish in color 11, Miami Coral. And the package inside is like that. It's just, I really like it. It's just really cool. And it's also magnetic. Ooh. The color of the lipstick is in this beautiful orange color. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this color much often, but I just like it a lot when I swatch in my hand at the shop. So I just fell for it. Next product, I think this is a new product from Hadalabo. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I actually really like Hadalabo products. This is Hadalabo Moisturizing Lip Balm with SPF 15. Ah, open! So inside, it's just a really basic lip balm package. Not magnetic. <laughs> It just has no smell as well, so it's no smell, no color, it's just really basic. But I just really like the brand Hadalabo that they just use super hyaluronic acid for every product, I think, nearly every product that they have. And this as well has the super hyaluronic acid in the ingredients, so I hope that this is gonna have the good moisturizing power. This product is also from Hadalabo and this is the Hadalabo Hydrating Lotion in Light Formula. I actually just bought this Super Hyaluronic Acid Lotion from Hadalabo before, like from my last trip. And as soon as I came back to my country, they just released this one. Yeah, right. <laughs> and this one is the light formula for the combination and oily skin and the word combination and oily skin always get me. So I just got this and just to try if this is better formula than the original one that I had. So if like if I need a new one, I can just get this instead if it's better. The next products are from Nivea and I got two of them. One is called Nivea Instant White and Firming Treatment Serum in SPF 50 PA++++ and this one is called Nivea Extra White Firming Treatment Serum SPF 15 PA++++ I just don't actually see the difference Only the word extra white and instant white I only want the body lotion that has the SPF in it And th both of these has like SPF 50 and PA++++ Both of them got Q10 and collagen only this one say extra white, this one say instant white. <laughs> Next product is from Lise and this is the hair spray that will give you volumized hair, for short hair especially. I'm not sure what it's actually called because I just peel off the plastic wrapper and all the explanation, all the description that I can read is just gone. Now they are only Japanese writing and I just can't read Japanese so... <laughs> anyway, it's just the hairspray that you just spray at the back and just it kind of gives the body to your hair. Whoa. I'm not sure if I've ruined my hair now. <laughs> this next product is also from Lise and this is Smooth Hair Cocktail. And this is like the hair treatment spray that you can just shake and then spray it all over your hair. Just for smoother finish. And ooh, it smells really nice, it smells really fruity. So the next two products are from Boots and this one is Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer in color medium. This is the concealer palette that has two products. The lighter one on this side I think is for under eye area and this one is for covering dark spots on your face. And on top of the palette, this is the setting powder. Yeah, I think this is quite useful. It comes in two colors of concealer and a powder as well. So this is going to be good for traveling, for sure. Next is this Boots Fashion Survival Cooling Massage Foot Gel. I didn't actually feel the cooling feeling as much. 
It says it comes in icy menthol to revive feet and legs, but I just don't feel the menthol cool feelings. I only feel that is cool because it's gel and that's it. The next one is Marc Jacobs Daisy Also oh Fresh perfume. And I got this from the duty free shop at the airport when I flew out of Thailand. It smells really fruity and floral and I really like it even though it smells a bit too girly but it just smells really nice. The next three products are from the brand called Lux Garden and I got this pomegranate hand and body wash and honeydew melon body lotion and this one is mandarin orange hand cream. Believe it or not I got these all for free because I went for the nail spa at my favorite nail salon and they just have the promotion for you to do the lucky draw and I was so lucky I got all these three products for free the pomegranate hand and body wash is like this mmm it smells really sour it smells really really fruity I think this is gonna be in my bathroom for now and this one is Honeydew Melon Body Lotion. Let's smell this too. <laughs> it smells really nice. As you can guess from Honeydew Melon. Yeah, as you can guess, Honeydew Melon, how would it smell like? It just smells like that. It smells really sweet and melony. And this one is Mandarin orange hand cream. This one is a good pocket size, really. Oh, <laughs> it's like the whole orange garden is in this tube. It smells really, really nice. Okay, now my hand's gonna have both the honeydew melon smell and this orange smell. How weird is that? <laughs> I like this orange one a lot. It smells really nice. And this is my new camera. This is Canon PowerShot G7X and it looks like this. It's just a compact camera but it's just really good as well for doing selfie because this screen can flip up and you can also take photos by just touching the screen up here and the function that I really like it though, I'm, I'm not sure what's it called but you will have six photos with automatic filters on it really cool it's just like Instagramming in an instant and this has Wi-Fi as well so it means you can easily connect the camera to your smartphone and transfer all the photos in like a glance apart from the camera I also got another lens and this is Canon EFS 24 mm f 2.8 STM it's a pancake lens like that I'm actually using it right now on this video so I feel like I don't have to speak much about it because you can just easily see the results from the whole video already and next I went to a Thai shoe shop called Bata or in Thai they call it Bata I got two pairs of shoes from them and this first one is a pair of trainers like that outside is light grey and inside has polka dot prints everywhere it's just really cute, don't you think? <laughs> and the second pair from Bata is this. It's really nice. It's in gold color and it looks a bit like snake skin. It's not though, it's just the snake skin print. So this is from the brand Bata themselves. But this one is from the brand called North Star. I'm not sure if it's their line or it's just the brand that sells in there as well. Yeah. I really like this one, it's just really pretty. <laughs> so the next place that I went is H&M and I got some stuff from there as usual. And this first item is the pair of ripped jeans. It's like boyfriend cut. Actually, I try on two sizes. This one is in size 36 and I also try size 34. And I found that 34 was a bit tight on me and this one it just fits better but as soon as I had a first wash on these jeans this one has just become really really loose and I feel sorry now because I just wanted to get that 34 
The next stuff from H&M is this hat. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I just realized that I never have a wide hat like this before. And this is, I think this is wool. Yeah, I think it's from Pure Wool Collection. It's just really nice. Look, I look much cooler with the hat on. Another item from H&M is this shoulder bag there. That has a lot of fringes on. <laughs> and inside it's just nothing special really. It's just normal bag. The last item that I got from H&M is this set of necklaces. It's a set of three, which I don't actually know what kind of style it is, but it just looks so pretty. Okay, so these last pieces are from Forever 21, and this first piece is, yeah, as you can guess, <laughs> it's a polka dot shirt. It's just nothing new really. It's just a black shirt with white polka dots all over it. I just realized that I don't have this color before, so I just wanted it. Why not? Polka dot always rules. And next, this is the loose jacket from Forever 21 as well. And even when it's a loose jacket, it actually fits my body well. This is perfectly my style. As soon as I try this on, I feel like mm, I need to get this. And last item, yay! This is the little shoulder bag that has studs all over here. I just like studs, skulls and polka dots. <laughs> so I just can't help every time that I see this kind of style. And inside it just looks like that. This is also from Forever 21. And that was it for my haul video. It's a big list as usual. And I hope that you like this video. If you have any questions about the items that I got about where did I get it? Where exactly did I get it? You can just ask in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up by clicking down there. And also, if you haven't subscribed to me already, you can just do that as well if you want. So until I see you in the next video, bye! This looks a bit like jumper. At front, it's like t-shirt material and at the back is shirt material. And you can see from the pattern that on top is like big and wide like that and down there it just becomes smaller this is in size s 